Tanzbrück Tough, so was so was so. Hey Internet, Draco Funk here. Welcome back to my 100 subscribers special of the Highway 47 channel where I drive a rover train from the North Pole to the South Pole. And today we are continuing that journey, but first I need to figure out how to get through this section of Kerbin. And it's not going to be easy. So I have to go between these two little, there's like a lagoon or inlet or port area and a lake. And then there's a lake to the east as well. So I'm going to have to drive between them. And, well, there's no easy route. So today I'm going to have to be super careful. And I'm on my way. Now, this is the first time since even in the 60 subscriber special where I drove this rover train. That's a different locomotive unit, but that's a different story. But I drove this rover train from the KSC to the North Pole. And for 100 subscribers, I'm driving it from the North Pole to the South Pole. And I believe we are on episode 11. But this is the first time that... Well, last episode was the first time. I'm continuing. I don't have a beacon or something I'm using as a waypoint. I... This episode, um, if you've been following me, you know this episode is probably going to come out a little bit... Later, it's going to come out the same day, just not... I usually like to have a noon release, and I'm recording this. It's already past that time as I'm recording the voiceover. And that's just because uh, the past couple months, my real-life stuff has been super busy. And... It's, it, you know, I just haven't had as much time. And the rest of this week is also going to be really busy. Um, I'm hoping it does not affect the other Highway 47 releases. Um, but I'm not going to say that's not entirely possible. Uh, it, it's just, you know... Real life is being real, real right now. The The good news is that this week is really busy. Next week, on the other hand, will still be really busy, but not quite, not quite as busy. Uh, in, in fact, the I'm going to miss our four drink minimum recording session. Uh, that episode, though, won't come out for, th uh, like, three weeks from this Friday. There will be an episode without me, a as it happens. And I actually believe there will be one more episode this month also without me. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Why was I thinking I was out at the end of this month? I don't know. I really don't know. Because looking at my calendar, I, it doesn't show that I'm out except for this Friday. Well, who knows? But anyway, um, so as you can see, the terrain in this area of Kerbin is very treacherous and I have to be super careful 
And you'll see me several times during this episode. I'm going to slow down, zoom out, and rethink my direction. And at some point later in the episode, I decide to head more inland. And I'm actually going to make a turn and go to the left of that mountain range in front of us. But right now, I have to be very careful. There's a lake to my right, which is the west, and I need to get past it. But there are several areas here where the hills, I just, I have to keep adjusting my course and heading. And then I get to these really steep hills, and I want to make sure that I'm going over them in a more favorable way. Because the last thing I want to do is have another crash. And I know I said that I would have a, another reusable space program episode out this week. And I just ended up not having time this past weekend to work on it. I actually haven't done anything since then. I actually did record another episode of Kerbal Space Program 2, but I have not had any time to do any editing whatsoever of that, and that still isn't going to change. I don't think I'll even, I really don't think I'm going to have time this weekend to do anything else either. So I may try and get them out in the middle of next week. But I, I just, I just don't see that happening. I, I still hope to get the next leg of the South Pole special out next week. For the most part, these episodes actually require a little less editing than most of the other Kerbal Space Program episodes, and I could probably spit out the next episode of the Reusable Space Program if I recorded it in a similar fashion to this one, uh, and just cut out a whole bunch of the, basically all the fuel missions that I've done to refuel the interplanetary probe. I don't know. So, in other channel news, uh, this week we should see episode 308 of Picard come out. And... Also, Captain America Civil War. And then the following week, uh, if we are able to record it, um, as I said, I'm busy this Friday, so I will not be able to record Friday night. And our backup time Saturday morning, Shaggy B is not available. So we will have to find an alternate time to record episode 309. But we hope to get that out next week. Uh, also coming out next week will be X-Men Apocalypse. Which, which a little behind the scenes tidbit is we actually recorded that one before Civil War. But we are releasing it. Because our goal is to watch these in release orders, but we 
due to our schedules, it made more sense because we do watch all the MCU movies when only when all four of us can be there. And this month, that was only there was only one day this month when we could do that. So we opted to watch one movie out of order. And the movie coming out the 14th will be a major detour, as in... So we have what's called minor detours. By the way, right now, you see how I'm looking at the map? I'm deciding that I should go between the two mountain ranges. And i am just now made that turn. <clears throat> so I'm going to be heading inland and go to the east of the mountain range and kind of get away from the shore just because it's a little or at least it looks to be a little more hospitable I'm still going to have to drive back towards the shore eventually just because that's the direction where this continent actually borders the South Pole but maybe this will give me a little bit of a reprieve in driving but back to the other stuff so we have minor detours and major detours and then we have our specials like uh last week we released uh super mario brothers the 1989 1993 movie since the new super mario brothers movie just came out uh, occasionally we'll do some holiday specials, like we'll watch Christmas movies or Halloween, or if we choose to watch some other special that's relevant to a holiday that we can find. But anyway, so those are the special detours. Then minor detours are where instead of watching the next Marvel movie because somebody's out usually uh it's a week when we can't have scrodrick we'll watch another uh like a one of the tv released marvel movies and we've done several of those i think the next one we're doing is one of there are three incredible hulk movies and those are next on our list to watch for a detour and then we have major detours where we don't watch a marvel movie because they're, we are missing uh, key personnel who want to watch one of those movies with us. And it, it's my fault. I wanted to be there for all the Marvel movies. So we are Shaggy. It'll be just be Shaggy B and Vomit. And I've actually chosen a mystery movie they don't know what it is yet and they will be watching it together and I did kind of want to watch this movie with them but I'm okay if they watch this movie without me so also uh if you are keeping up with starship news starship was fully stacked ship 24 was fully stacked on booster 7 as of last night, they de-stacked it again, and this is likely so that they will be able to arm the flight termination system before the first attempted orbital launch, which, as of today, we have a launch date of April 17th. I believe the time is 8 a.m. SpaceX put out a live running video that has a live countdown. And I haven't checked to make sure that that didn't stop for any reason. But. It is out there. And that is the plan date. I, I know. That many times. that launches can be delayed and rescheduled and it often happens as in the case of 
SLS happened many times, and I had to wake up at 2.30 in the morning in order to watch that launch live, which which I did. Um, I, I don't know that my wife was very happy about it, uh, since I watched it in our bedroom, and it kind of woke her up too, but, you know, it, it was okay. And I'm trying to find the countdown video while I'm driving, which... Anyway, uh, so this footage is sped up four times, just because this is about an hour's worth of driving. And once the hour's over, I will park just like right here, and that'll give me a chance to wrap up this video. So hey, uh, if you haven't done, like and subscribe, and... I may, I'm considering trying to do a live stream of the Starship launch, but I don't know. It will depend on lots of things, but hey, we'll catch you next time. Thanks, everybody.